Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to what might just be the finale of Ninwin's story uh, here on YouTube uh, in Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition on Legendary Difficulty, i.e. the hardest difficulty, which will not go on longer than we originally intended. In fact, this is probably shorter than I originally intended. Also, I wanted to be clear, I probably mentioned this in the past, um, somebody mentioned that there's a third Civil War option. And, yeah, we always do that on Maverits whenever we uh, stream this game on the first day. We've done it twice in uh, twice annually now, where we go through and beat Skyrim in one sitting, and then we do that Civil War third option. So if you didn't know, you don't just have to go Imperials or Stormcloaks. There is a third option that I guess is only gotten if you try to just go through the main story without doing the Civil War. But typically I do everything and then do the Civil uh, then do the you know, main quest. So, just for anybody that doesn't know that. Uh, also, follow the stuff in the description of the video if you want to engage with my content on a deeper level and support what I do. And hit the like button, too. That'd be nice. But, thanks uh, for watching. And, yeah, if this is... If it says finale in the title, this be the finale. Yo, what up? Please move quickly. Elder Gleam awaits us. Okay. Uh, so we are doing the blessings of nature. I've agreed to help Danica Pure Spring repair the Gilder Green, the large tree outside the Temple of Kittereth in White Run. Retrieve Elder Gleam Sap. So we got Nettle Bane, uh, and we went over to Orphan Rock, where uh, there was a Hag Raven and four witches, and then we got Nettle Bane, uh, which was on the Hag Raven, and now we need to go grab some Elder Gleam Sap, which is where we are here. And, uh, yeah, just trying to give Ninwin a nice little, nice little bookend, which if I remember this quest right, which, uh, so far does look like indeed I did, I think this is the right one to do. Also, look at that Luna Moth. They look so nice. Luna Moth wings, too, added. You know, I, it's getting the alchemy thing. I want to take a look at, like, what, so how, what does the Luna Moth translate to? What would you get from that? Damage Magicka. See, I didn't expect that. I thought it was gonna be something nice, because they seem very, like, ethereal and just, like, a good thing. Like, a good, a good element in the world. We're gonna crunch up this Hagraven claw as well. Rah. Yum. Rah! I'm not doing Fusroda. Keep your mouth shut until I pre- Uh-oh. Who are you? Who is that? I actually don't know. I don't remember there being bad people here right off the bat. Is that a good guy? Uh, we're gonna make a save regardless because I do not know. Good good Hello, guy? Friend. You come to enjoy the sights and sounds of this beautiful sanctuary as I have yeah, it is. I don't remember this guy whatsoever, and I did this quest somewhat recently too. I do remember that guy. Welcome to Elder Gleam Sanctuary, my friend. If you have any questions, speak to ask. I think I'm also getting this quest confused with another quest where you uh, that deals with moths that I will not spoil. Okay, it looks like this is just a nice area. Okay, that'll that'll do it. That'll be that'll be nice. Amazing that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. Agreed. Uh, what is this place? You are an elder gleam sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinnereth has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? And that tree is that the elder gleam? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. Well, I'm going to change that. Why not? As you can see. Eldrigleam's roots are large and stretch far, blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Eldrigleam herself would lift her roots for. More out of fear than respect. What weapon could that be? You mean this weapon? Show Nettlebane. The rumors were true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. Don't harm the tree? Right. Yes, no, of course not. Okay, that's Asta, and then we have Son. Don't come any closer. I don't want Kinnereth to think I'm on your side. You don't want Kinnereth to think... I, I'm sorry, do you guys think that I'm bad? I'm, I'm a good presence here. I, um, I, I only want the best for the Gilder Green. And I'm sure this man does too. Okay, we, ju we just gotta grab a little bit of sap. You know, nature provides. Just because we take something from nature does not mean it's a bad thing. Right? Okay, so yeah, this is actually an interesting quest because they put like a unique obstacle here that you never see again. So we do have to go to Weapons and Nettlebane, which does nothing other than remove this, I think. I'm also going to make a save because I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I should do this, unless there's another way to get up there and I'm forgetting right now. 
Yeah, you hit it and it goes up. Also, you're still not saying anything, right? I can't believe I finally made it here. We did? Yeah, you and me, buddy. And I couldn't have done it without you. Definitely couldn't have. It was all you. You were great. And then what's that? A little torch bug. Yeah, I'm not gonna grab you. You can do your thing. Okay, uh, let's make a save here right quick. And I just saved over the save that <laughs> would have protected me had I done something wrong. Activate Elder Gleam. Elder Gleam sap added. Return to Danica. And then what happens now? I knew there was a twist, but what was the twist? This man is bad. Did he even say anything? Oh, it's Spriggins. Okay, Maurice Dr Okay, um... Are you, what, you're just gonna... Wait, for Kinnereth? <laughs> so they're mad I took the sap from the tree? I guess they just didn't want us to take sap. It's kind of weird. Uh, did he summon the Spriggan? Or did the Spriggan just... Oh, that's not good. Um... Okay, you all kind of... What is happening? Oh, who's... Oh, come on. Get down there, boy. Get that. Keep sliding. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, let's kill him with Nettlebane if we can. Get that sweet, sweet one-handed. Uh, that's true. In the scope of the playthrough, yeah. Yeah, you need to get, like, a bigger buff from Kinnereth, my friend. Um, I'm killing you with a 12 damage one-handed blade on the hardest difficulty in the game. You're gonna, you're gonna need a little help here, buddy. Die with nature! The very thing you say that you protect, but in reality, I... Dan, I, I, yeah, I guess they're just Elder Gleam fanatics. That's the thing. I think we missed a critical line of dialogue from this gentleman here. And I think we also killed the other Spriggans, which is great. Let's get some restoration, even though it really does not matter at this point, obviously. Or maybe it very much matters. Maybe we still have some enemies because it's still playing combat music. Now, what about these other two NPCs down here? Because I just genuinely don't remember. I knew there was a twist. Oh, wow. Okay, let's uh, snipe these people. We're going to go with the Zephyr and we're going to go with the Orcish Arrows. Let's see how much damage we can do. They look pretty low. Le well, are they even bad? They're definitely bad, but I want to make sure. Okay, well, that confirms it. But I want to make sure. It's all about nature. I. <laughs> It's actually not the way that... I, oh, they're dead? What the heck even ha... I, I'm not even understand... Oh, they yeah, they fought to the death. Okay. Uh, oh, that's cheap as heck, man. Don't you run at me. Just just, just keep not knowing where I am. Well, all right. Uh, if you ladies could follow me up here. We're going to have a little powwow. Yeah, way up here, guys. You're right on up here. Okay, and then... Guys, if you could step, like, right about here. I don't know if your AI pathing is going to really help you do that. Oh, so powerful. So fierce. Okay, you're going to go down there. And I'm going to shoot you in the face. Oh, you're the one that's freaking full health. Crap. Are you dead? Okay, we're going to have to run out the clock here and shout them down, too. So how was your day? <laughs> you're, you're all a buzz. <laughs> you're green with envy. Did something happen? <laughs> uh, wood. Tree, uh, you know, nature, puns, all sorts of stuff. Oh, that's cool. Green magic. Yeah, nice. Nature magic, I'm assuming. Um, okay, give me one second here. We've almost got it back. All right, can you walk over this way? Not into the water, please, if you could help it. Yeah, perfect. All right, I just didn't want to whittle them down with like a million shots. And there probably are even more Spriggans, if I had to guess. What happened with this guy? Sond. Nine gold. Who knows? And then I don't know where, uh, whatever the other lady was called. Where, where, where did she go? So, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I remember that one guy. Oh, here she is. Asta. Gold, iron arrows, and nothing else. I'm pretty sure I remember, um, that man. He, like, says something about, uh, yeah, I think the idea is that he wants to make sure you don't harm the Elder Gleam. Even though we're just helping nature sprout in, like, another area of Skyrim, which you would think would be good. So, he turns on you and Spriggan spawn. I guess Kinnereth actually is mad, because how else would the Spriggan spawn if they weren't there already? But then they kill the other people, which were there protecting it. So, yeah, if anybody knows if we missed anything, feel free to let me know, because I have no idea why. Uh, that The end to that quest is just very bizarre. Doesn't really have, like, a... Doesn't really have, like, a strong narrative, at least figuring out what happened. But nevertheless... 
Because I guess you can't even make a choice, right? You have to do that. You have to use Nettlebane to go and get the sap. Very weird, regardless. Okay, so. Return to Danica Pure Spring over here in Whiterun. Enemies are nearby, son of a bee. All right, we're just going to go in a sneak and, yeah, walk about a foot to the right. And that usually fixes everything. Remember that in life. If you ever have anything you need fixing, go in a sneak, walk a foot to the right. That's all you need to do. Duh. Yeah, our journey comes to an end, folks. I think this is literally the last thing we're going to do. No way. Don't don't give the comment section ideas. They're going to want me to go through the whole Don Guard quest line again, which we are not doing. <laughs> we, we, we've... The uh, Nidwin story comes to a close. As everything must. All good things must end. Hello! Do you have the Elder Gleam sap? I've got the sap. Wonderful. I'll use it to repair the tree. Thank you so much for all your help. No problem. Yes, okay. And that's that. Elder Gleam sap removed. We don't even get a reward? You're a priestess of Kinnereth. I'd like training. Do you get, like, to use her as a trainer for restoration? What's Grace even... Of Kinnereth be with you. Yeah, and also with you. You literally don't even... I mean, that's fine for Ninwen. I think she would just want to help nature, but... Okay. Make something new grow. I just don't remember that being so anticlimactic as a quest. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, there's the other tree right there. Uh, that is going to be it for our character here, Ninwen. Uh, we did Blood on the Ice. We did... Uh, uh, destroy the Dark Brotherhood, which Grogon was unable to. You, there are other stuff. You're the one who wiped out the Dark Brotherhood. All the guards are talking about it. Yeah. You're a hero to us all. Oh, that's that's lucky to hear. Um, so yeah, uh, there's other stuff. Obviously, the middle path of the Civil War, the other path of the Civil War, the other path of the Dawn Guard DLC. And I think that's pretty much it uh, for the main ones. But if you want to see that, just go watch the Adronok playthrough because I'm pretty sure we did the opposites for those, if I remember correctly. So we've covered it, not on the hardest difficulty, but, you know, we've beaten those quests, the other side of them. So, yeah, you, you could split hairs if you want to, but ultimately, that's just what I wanted to do with this character. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Ninwin's story, and uh, we'll return to Grogon and finish his now. And, uh, yeah, thanks uh, again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Later.